friends welcome to our channel school fun tv in this video you are going to learn the basics of artificial intelligence we know how disappointed you are unable to comment so there are some ways instead of commenting you may like or you can visit these links they are also in the description so now let's start first is brief introduction to ai so what do you think when you think the term ai robots and sophia of course and maybe that with computer when you play on video games even that is an ai so that's quite interesting it's all around us but we should know about it right we don't know about it so much so for that we are going to see this picture so john mccarthy is known as the father of ai why is he known as the father of ai well there are two reasons okay first is he coined the term artificial intelligence in 1956 and second is he developed the first ai so that's so interesting and so insightful A great mythology states about the use of AI. Well, it's a little backward to modern AI, but we can say that it is an ancient form of AI. So, what was the name of the robot? Talos. It was made of bronze. Okay, Talos was a giant animated bronze statue, which was programmed. see this word program so it means that ai is basically a computer program to guard the island called crete and he was created or maybe it was created by hephaestus okay so what is ai actually ai is the science of training machines okay science of training machines but training machines to what we can train machines to do anything right so training machines to do what is called ai well training machines to perform tasks like humans like they can think they can play with us they can be chatbots this term was invented in the 1956 how was it invented when they try to make computers think on their own okay so what are the signs that a particular thing is ai first thing is cognitive ability thinking ability and benchmark for ai the human level concerning reasoning speech and wish so the best example is sofia so If you don't know who Sophia is, don't worry. Okay, so this is Sophia. She's a social humanoid robot, which is developed by Hansen Robotics. Actually, David Hansen. Sophia was activated on February the fourteenth, two thousand sixteen, and uh, she is now actually a citizen of Saudi Arabia. And this is a picture of her in Kolkata. So, I told you she is the best example. Now, what is narrow AI? Okay, so there are many types of AI. Narrow AI is the most intelligent one. Okay, so what is narrow AI? It can perform a task better than a human. So the current research of narrow AI is going on, and some people are saying not to research because uh, they think that it is dangerous because you know the robots could dominate over humans. 
it is general AI that the common AI which can perform uh, human abilities with the same thing. But strong AI is stronger than narrow AI. Okay. But general AI basically focuses on many topics, but narrow AI focuses on one topic. Okay. Strong AI will probably rule the world. Okay, so this is the timeline of AI. As you can see, in 1956 it started and this is the Greek story of Talos. Then now it's recent. So this is the brief introduction. Then what are the examples of AI? First is IBM Watson Health for the Oncology. Okay, so let's see. So IBM Watson for Oncology helps oncology professionals that the data, extract meaningful insights, present in such way, professionals and personalize cancer treatment plan. Whoa, that's very insightful. And doctors can access this app well it's more of a chatbot and it is a supervised AI so it's now in the form of an app but of course it charges but this helps more than 300 hospitals and health organizations wow to make some best decisions when it comes to treating a specific disease and the rate at which this technology is evolving the future of medicine looks extremely bright maybe we can be decovered with it okay so now let's see what ibm watson can do with this picture so it is in deep learning that is, it is very, very capable. Okay. So, now it's Tesla Autopilot. Okay. So, Elon Musk is the founder of Tesla. Okay. And he has focused on narrow AI. In case you forgot what narrow AI is. And artificial intelligence said to be narrow when the machine can perform a specific task better than human. So he focuses on autopilot narrow AI because it focuses on autopilot. It enables the car to make decisions without driver. The vehicles would increasingly rely on radar as well as ultrasonic technology for sensing and data gathering to form the algorithms. Okay, so here is an amazing fact. What is that amazing fact you would ask? Well, all planes in the world are running on autopilot. So, LIDAR technology isn't the same as this Tesla autopilot technology and it helps in adverse weather condition. Okay, so Tesla vision system, there are real world driving data, and the 3D map is making it a finer resolution. The addition of GPS in Tesla has now allowed to put a visual driving map for the AI vehicles to follow. So it is paving the path for newer and more advanced vehicles. So you can see what the machine is saying. So basically, this part, the slower part, which I'm marking with red 
this is basically what the machine is saying and what are we seeing we are seeing this it sees this it sees this well it senses it actually that converts it into this image and then so this also and then it takes up the analytics so that's how it basically works then a smart personal assistant such as siri so let's see about siri and later on we may discuss other smart assistants like google home google assistant amazon home then alexa okay so siri is a virtual assistant that is part of apple links ios pad ipad os watch os mac os and tv os operating systems the assistant uses voice queries and natural language user interface to understand questions etc the software uh, then slowly adapts to the users individual language users searches and preferences because we use it for a long time actually return results are individualized therefore siri supports a wide range of user commands including performing four actions like we can say call maybe i can say call b okay so say i have a contact name b i can say call b and as it speaks you will see you can notice these voice lines okay so when you are recording you are able to see such voice lines so it's still developing so that it is like more developed so that it does not have to show these voice lines so now and now we can search google too see it apple updated series voices for more clear human voices so that previously the voice was like wow oh, how can i help you but now it's a clearer voice and it started supporting follow up questions and language translation so you can say translate um, i am a girl to russian maybe then it will do it for me and additional third party actions like i can say google search res tell me the google search results of so and so so now what do we have netflix netflix provides high accurate predictive technology based on customers reactions to film so this is getting smarter and smarter by the year the data set grows however the tech's only drawback is that most small label movies go unnoticed while big name movies grow and balloon on the platform was 75% of what is watched by the people is recommended by netflix by machine learning of course now before we go to the fifth point i have another ai that may be considered as fifth only and maybe the fifth one will make it sixth so this is facebook or any other face recognition the face i am writing face r okay so face recognition It's just AI. It learns your face. That's so amazing, isn't it? So this was the fifth point. So now let's go to the last point. That is Gmail spam filters. Well, instead of Gmail, we could have any other mail, but spam filters. 
The spam filter analyzes email content and flags all emails that don't seem legitimate, that is um, true. And sometimes they make wrong decision. I mean, for example, a mail is not spam that can go to spam and a spam email may not go into the spam. So, so that your mail does not go to spam, you should check for these things. Don't, don't add trigger words such as credit, cash, reward, income, password, OTP, etc. For your information, OTP is one-time password. So you can see this is the robot working. Now uh, it's the AI. That's so thank you so much. Cool Fun TV will always be there for you. Thank you so much for watching this video once again and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you like this video do press the like button and check the description for these links. So bye!